Hey everyone, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 59 in the Intermediate Algebra Series. So in this tutorial we're going to be sketching the equation y is equal to 3x minus 1. And so this is just one more example um, before we move on. So this is going to be just like the previous two tutorials. And, but I just thought, you know, it wouldn't hurt to do another example of this before we move on and cover something else. So basically what we're doing is we're just going to choose a few different x-coordinates here. So let's start with negative 2 and then negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 like we've done previously. And then just once again what we're doing is we're just going to see that uh, we're basically looking to see if we choose x to be let's say negative 2 what is y going to be? What's, what's the corresponding y value? And then we basically do that all the way down the list and we find out what the corresponding y value is for each of these x values. So let's go ahead and just do that part right now. And then once we do that, then we'll go ahead and plot these points on the coordinate system here. And then we'll connect the dots and that will give us a rough sketch of this equation right here. So when x is equal to negative 2, let's figure out what the corresponding y component is. So to do that, we just simply write y equals 3x minus 1. So y equals 3 times x minus 1. But for x, we're choosing it to be negative 2. So let's put a negative 2 here in place of our x. And then let's see what corresponding y value we get out of this. So 3 times a negative 2 is equal to negative 6. And then we subtract the 1. So y is equal to negative 6 minus 1. And then a negative 6, take away one more, is negative 7. So y is equal to negative 7. So when we entered an x value of negative 2 into this equation here, then we ended up with a corresponding y value of negative 7. So let's place the negative 7 next to its corresponding x value of negative 2. So now let's go ahead and just look at the next point right here. So we want to look at when x is equal to negative 1. So let's see, y is equal to 3x minus 1 again. So 3 times x. This time x is minus 1. And then that's minus 1. So 3 times a negative 1 is negative 3. So y is equal to negative 3 minus 1. y is equal to a negative 3. Take away one more is negative 4. So the corresponding y value for negative 1 is negative 4. So when x is equal to negative 1 in this equation here, we get a corresponding y value of negative 4. So let's go ahead and write down the y value here, negative 4. So now we've got two ordered pairs or two points that we can plot in this uh, coordinate system here. So let's just go ahead and keep going and do the next three. So the next one we're going to be looking at um, when x is equal to 0. So when x equals 0, we have y is equal to 3x minus 1 again. 3x minus 1, and x this time is 0. 3 times 0 is 0, and then we have the minus 1. Nothing, take away 1, is a negative 1. So when we have an x value of 0, we enter it into this equation here. We get a corresponding y value of negative 1. So we'll place that corresponding y value here. So let's just go ahead and do the next two really quick. So x is equal to 1 now. So y equals 3 times, and instead of x, we're going to place that 1 in there. And then minus 1. So 3 times 1 is just simply equal to 3. And then that's minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So when we have an x value of 1, we get a corresponding y value of 2. So let's place the 2 here. And then for this very last one here, y equals 3x minus 1 again. So 3 times x minus 1. And then x is going to be our 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, and then we subtract the 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. So when we have an x value of 2, we plug it into this equation here. We get a corresponding y value of 5. So let's place the 5 here for the y component. So now what we have is we just have five points. We have five ordered pairs here. So let's go ahead and plot these five ordered pairs on our coordinate system here. And then we'll just kind of get a sketch of uh, what this equation looks like by connecting the dots. So the first point, negative 2, negative 7. 
So we have an x component of negative 2. So starting at 0 on the x-axis, going over negative 1, negative 2. So this is the x component of that point right there. So the y component of that point, we go on the y-axis, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. So that's the y component. And then I'm just going to draw some dotted lines coming off of those just to kind of help us um, pinpoint exactly where the point negative 2, negative 7 is. So just drawing some projections off of there. We find that they meet right at this point. So this is the point negative 2, negative 7. So this is one point that satisfies this equation right here. So let's look at the next point, negative 1, negative 4. So x has a component of negative 1. So on the x-axis, we go negative 1. So that's the x component right there. And then we have a y component of negative 4. So 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 on the y-axis and then just some dotted lines to just kind of help us pinpoint where the point negative 1, negative 4 is. So this is the point negative 1, negative 4. So then looking at the next point, we have 0, negative 1. So x has a component of 0. And 0 for the x-axis is right here. And then we have a y component of negative 1. So going down 1 on the y-axis puts us here. And so this point right here is actually the point 0, negative 1. And so the reason why is because we're basically on the x-axis, we didn't have to move any, so we pretty much stay somewhere on this line when x is 0, somewhere on the y-axis, because the y-axis is x equals 0. So basically, we have to stay somewhere on the y-axis, because that's where x is equal to 0, and then y is equal to negative 1, so that tells you where on the y-axis it's going to be. So this point right here is the point 0, negative 1. So now moving on to the next point, we have x is equal to 1, so going over 1 unit on the x-axis, and then y is equal to 2, going up 1, 2 units on the y, so those two meet right here, so that right there is the point 1, 2. And then for the last one, we have an x component of 2, going over 1, 2 in the x direction, and then y has a component of 5, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the y component of our point. So those two cross right about there. So this right here represents the point to 5. So now all we need to do is we just need to kind of connect the dots here. And once again, we have a line. So there's a rough sketch now of what this line looks like. So this right here that I just sketched, this line I just sketched, represents the line y is equal to 3x minus 1. So basically we found five different points that satisfy this equation here. And since they satisfy this equation, that means that those points fall somewhere on this line. And so basically any point that falls on this line is going to satisfy this equation right here. So anyway, that was just another example on how to sketch an equation by plotting points. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra series. You guys have an excellent day. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.